Good morning. Ah, so good. So good. So today I want to talk about using my shopping metaphor is could you imagine if you could have a grievance form that you could fill out and submit to the customer service person in your brain, whatever is creating your negative self-talk and have compensation for when somebody hurts your feelings. Good morning. So I made up for my workbook when I do a workbook on if you want to go get out of the pizzeria. And one of the exercises is a grievance form. And it asks you to write down what your grievance is, what were your expectations, and basically what would make you feel better if you could get compensation. Now, over the past weekend, I was at a hotel in Boston, and I believe in freedom of speech, and there was a demonstration because some of the hotels are on strike. But we were staying close to one of those hotels. There were three of them. So no matter which side of my hotel you stayed in, you heard the demonstration. And on Saturday night, it lasted until late into the morning. And yesterday I called the hotel to say that I believe in freedom of speech and people have their rights, but it really interfered with my experience of staying in your hotel and by the front desk saying sorry it's been going on a month and you don't even address the problem it made me feel as though you need to address the problem and i suggested some some things that might make people feel better that when they got to the hotel you provided earplugs in case they wanted to take a nap or a free drink in your beautiful bar or free breakfast or an Uber to the airport was something to say we're so sorry for your inconvenience. I got a letter from, I made the complaint to the front desk and then I got a letter, an email later in the day where the person at, that's, that's maybe the manager of the hotel wrote me back and said, this is a problem, we need to address it, we're sorry that we didn't address it and they decided to give us a discount on the hotel on eating breakfast there, which was really, really surprising to me because I didn't ask for any compensation. But I have to tell you, it did make me feel better. Then later in the day, I know that only you are responsible for your feelings. I, everyone's told me that, but sometimes circumstances happen or people say things and it triggers something in you. Somebody yesterday said, I don't know who it was, so I can't give them credit. Don't let negative thinking take a parking place in your brain and in your thoughts. I think that was so valuable. I'm going to repeat it. Don't let negative thinking take a parking place in your thoughts. So I was working on my workbook, which will be published soon, hopefully. And one of the forms was a, a customer service grievance form. And I filled it out for the person that hurt my feelings. And what I realized is that the, the reparation or what you get back needs to be in your self care. You need to give yourself what you need because you can't solve something with somebody else. But what you need to do is self care. And we're trying to figure out how to get my coffee time readers like um, forms and things. So hopefully one of these days we're going to figure that out because there's a few other forms that I said I would give you lists and things and we can't figure out how to do this yet. But we will. We're working on it. So. If you feel that you would like a customer service complaint form to fill out so that you can figure out what self-care you need when somebody hurts your feelings, somebody triggers something, an event happens, and it gives you a chance to think of what you need to do so that you can change your attitude, take care of yourself, and not let your negative energy 
get wasted thinking about that person and how much you're hurt and everything that goes along with that. So what I want to do today is just say that when somebody hurts your feelings, don't let them take a parking place in your negative thinking. Don't let it go that way. Let's deal with it. Let's figure out what we need and let's move on so that we could all have a great day and not waste any energy. Enjoy your day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.